Hey guys, John here. So I wanted to give you all an update video on the flated air topper for my Tacoma. So in some of my recent Instagram posts and just videos on YouTube with some people catching an eye on the Tacoma, I've had a lot of questions on it and asking how I liked it. So I figured I would update you guys since it's been on the vehicle for close to a few months now. So the past few months with it has been perfectly fine. I've been driving the Tacoma around town 40 to 60 miles an hour when I can get up to speed, no drag, hardly any wind noise at all. And I barely even realized that it's back there. When I went off roading with this thing too, bouncing around a bit, tight trails. The topper stayed on perfectly fine. None of the straps here on the inside got loose at all. Every single one of them stayed pretty tight and I had no issues with it shifting on me at all while off-roading or while driving. And guys, this inflatable camper shell actually held up pretty good to rain. Check this out. So it just got done raining a lot. You can see the driveway flooded probably, I don't know, two, three inches of rain, it dumped for like eight, nine hours straight. But I wanna show you guys how much water gets in the bed of the Tacoma because a lot of you asked me that. So looking inside, not that much. And really it's only coming from right up there. So where the light is able to come in, it probably just comes from the top of this camper onto that. And then we got minimal down there. And I think it just comes in because it comes down the side right here because it's beveled down for aerodynamics and probably just comes in between the cab and just goes in right there. So the cool thing is that I had to use my Tacoma and Tundra to help some friends move and obviously having an air topper on the back or a camper shell or anything like that would be such a nuisance. But in order to help them move, all I had to do was just unstrap all the straps. Again, they were super tight still and just stand up, take the topper off. I placed it in the garage. And then once we were done helping them move, I put it on back by myself and just strapped it down super, super easy. So guys, I am gonna take it off the Tacoma for now for a little while and deflate it and then just put it in my garage because my Tundra is at the dealership getting recalls and other stuff done. So if I need this truck for any sort of truck things. I don't want to keep taking the camper shell on and off the back. Plus two, it's hot here in Florida right now for the summertime. So there won't really be any camping going on with the Tacoma anytime soon. So if you guys missed the whole install and how this flated product works, I will leave a link down in the description. And also if you guys are interested in this product, I'll leave a 10% discount link down there as well. So now I'll just let it air down, roll it up, stuff it back in the bag that it came with and put it in a tiny closet into my garage and that's awesome. And now I get my truck bed back, still need to take the BAM beds out that I showed a video on those for you guys. But the cool thing about this topper, what I really, really like about it is that it is not for those that need a camper shell. So if you need a camper shell on your Tacoma, get a fiberglass one, right? This one is for those that they still want their truck to be a truck they want the convenience of a camper shell whenever they need it, if they want to go camping, and that somewhat protection of the quote unquote honest thieves of stuff that you would put in the back of your vehicle. It's also for those two like me that when they do rock the camper shell and then they take it off, they don't want it to sit in this side of their garage or let the HOA get mad at them and put it on the side of their house, right? So that is where this convenience factor comes in on this flated air topper. So guys, that's a quick update on the flated air topper. Again, links for everything will be down in the description. I just wanted to make this video for you guys real quick because I was taking it off and I was gonna deflate it for a while. So I just figured, hey, what the heck? It's been on the truck for a couple of months, so I might as well update you guys on it and then why I took it off. So, all right guys, I'll catch you in the next video.